Today we are going to have a brief discussion about time barring clauses in construction contracts. A time barring clause in a contract is one which requires a claimant, usually the contractor, to submit a written notification to the other contracting party, usually the employer, about any compensation event within a specified time period, failing which the claimant loses his rights to make a claim in relation to the events. Most modern forms of contract contain time barring clauses, which state that the submission of a contractual notification is a condition precedent to an entitlement for an extension of time claim, i.e. the claim is rendered void if the contractor or the claimant did not submit a contractual notice within the time period stated in the contract. For example, subclause 20.1 from the FIDIC suite of contracts requires the contractor to submit a notice as soon as practicable and not later than 28 days after the contractor became aware or should have become aware of the event or circumstance. There is no direct authority, either in English law or otherwise, on the interpretation of subclause 20.1 of the FIDIC forms of contract. However, the House of Lords decision in Bremer v. Vanden event is authority for the proposition that for a notice requirement clause to rank as a condition precedent, the clause must state the precise time for service and make it plain by express language that unless the notice is served within that time, the party required to give notice will lose its rights under that clause. Time barring clauses are used in most standard forms of construction contracts in several, and in several cases, contractors have had their claims rejected purely because of their failure to submit contractual notifications within the durations specified in the contract. However, here's a piece of advice to FIDIC engineers and project management consultants in general. It is not prudent to rely purely on a time barring clause to reject claims, as there are ways to overcome the same. Nevertheless, contractors are strongly advised to submit contractual notifications in accordance with the requirements of their contracts in order to ensure that their claims are not time barred and rejected during arbitration and or litigation. One last thing, please check out my videos about time at large and prevention principle because they may help contractors to defeat the provisions of a time barring clause. That's all. Thank you for watching.